Welcome back to good, oh, actually, not good morning, Colorado. News <laughs> Channel 13 at noon. Wow, we're really trained robots here at News Channel 13, are we? <laughs> You're taking a look at Fountain this afternoon from our Ceramic Landscape Materials Neighborhood Weather Network camera. And just a reminder that Fountain is one of several agencies in Southern Colorado on accident alert this afternoon. That means if you're in a crash, you have 72 hours to report that if no one's hurt and if no alcohol or drugs are suspected. But 20 degrees in Fountain, you can see why that is the case in both Fountain, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, and Teller County this afternoon. But to see how things are going to shape up, Continuing on into your evening commute, we will send things over to Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Jay Polk. You just want to push the day back, Brittany. I know, right? <laughs> a lot of people like to push the snow away, but it's not going to be pushed away for at least a while to come as we are going to continue to see some snow over the next 12 to 18 hours. Here's what's happening right now 6th Street and Midtown Circle with a Chieftain Studio camera. Winds out of the northeast at 9 miles per hour. Temperatures are sitting in the teens. As we look at Los Animas, we're seeing some snow here as well. Temperatures sitting at 24. Winds out of the northeast at 15. 15 miles per hour at the Bend County Courthouse at Highway 50 and Highway 101. Live HD Doppler radar keeping it zoomed in now to El Paso and Teller County. As you can see the dark band just off to the west of Highway 115 and also along Interstate 25. As you come out of town heading down towards Fountain, you saw how dark it was on that ceramic landscape materials camera. And it's even darker, I suppose, as you head south of Fountain down into Pueblo County because this is where the heaviest snow is setting up along the interstate. It's also fairly heavy off to the southeast and southwest of Pueblo along Highway 69 heading over towards Westcliff and Beulah Valley and Rye and also to the southeast of town south of Avondale and along Highway 50 itself between Avondale and Fowler. That stretches all the way to the Kansas line, especially along Interstate 70. So if you're heading northeast of the Springs up towards Lyman and points eastward from Lyman to Burlington and the Kansas line, it will be also a rough go for you this afternoon. SkyScan satellite radar tells us that there's going to be more snow to come. As you can see, that snow continues to push very slowly off to the northeast. We're seeing a little bit of action in the atmosphere to help to enhance some of that snow, especially to the west of I-25 in southern portions of El Paso County and also into Pueblo County between Pueblo and La Junta along Highway 50. Skycast put the maps into motion now, put the projected radar into motion, and you see by this afternoon, our snow is not really going anywhere anytime soon. We are going to continue to see the snow. Chances for it at least throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening. There will be times when it will taper off, but it will come back as we go through our Monday night and into our Tuesday morning. And as we go through our Tuesday afternoon, there are more chances for snow. The amount of snow and the coverage of the snow will not be as high as it was as we went through this afternoon, but there will still be a chance for it nonetheless with some additional accumulation possible all the way through our, through our Tuesday and into our Wednesday. Here's our snow tracker now. One to three inches in the white, three to six in the light purple, six to ten in the dark purple. The bulk of the snow will still be over towards the mountains, according to our SkyCast snow tracker. But watch out for some areas, again, west of I-25 in El Paso and in Teller counties, where there will be some fairly heavy amounts of snow. Leadville, either side of you, along Highway 24, off to the east, off to the west, you're going to get a pretty good amount as well. And Buena Vista, off to the west there, another possibility for good amounts of snow by the time we finish it all off. There will be some wind, too, to help to blow around this newly fallen snow. Winds will be between 10 and 20 miles per hour on a widespread basis in the springs and in Pueblo, all the way through our Monday night and into our Tuesday morning before it does begin to taper off later on. Temperatures are sitting in the teens and 20s, 18 in the springs, 23 in Pueblo and Canyon City. Factor in the wind, though, it feels like it's closer to zero both the springs and in Pueblo. If you think it feels like near zero tonight, it'll feel like way below zero as we go through the overnight. Temperatures are going to be below zero just about everywhere, with some places dropping to colder than 10 degrees below zero. It gets even colder as we go through our Wednesday morning, too, before temperatures do begin to rebound later on. So while we're unpopular now in the Weather Center, I suppose, will be somewhat more popular as we go into the weekend as temperatures are going to rise up into the lower to middle 40s and there will be some sunshine mixed in with a few clouds on Saturday and Sunday and into our Monday. Look ahead to the weekend in Canyon City. You'll be sitting in the lower 40s as well. So as we go through our Tuesday at night and into our Wednesday morning, we'll drop down to right around 8 degrees below zero. Telecon, you'll be colder than 10 below on Wednesday morning as well for you begin to rebound. So bottom line, conditions as you head East of town primarily are not too bad. I-70, for example, even towards the Eisenhower Tunnel, yeah, it's rough. It's slick. It's, there are some icy spots, but it's not as, anywhere near as rough as it is to the east of Denver as you head over to the Kansas line. Oh, you get out there with that blowing snow, and uh, there's just no telling what you might run into. That's right. That's right. Thanks, Jay. Well,